What's up? This is Squad2448. We're farming Sony 217 mod review. Today we'll be taking a look at a few skid steers, rock truck, a few logging trucks, and a tractor. Up first, we'll be taking a look at the John Deere skid steer pack. Very nicely done. When you do purchase it in the store, you do have the option for tracks or for wheels, and it also comes along with this very nicely done bucket. So on the skid steers, it's a John Deere 333D. Very nicely done. Has a very interesting arm design around back. It does have working lights and also a working fan, which is pretty cool. And the exhaust comes up the top, but the model is very nicely done. Looks pretty cool. Does have turn signals. It does also have a reverse light, and it just has our uh, lights, which is pretty cool. Now up front, you guys can see it does have lights. Very nice glass door, keeping you warm, and glass sides, which is nice. And the arm is a little bit of slow when you kind of do use it. Tilting is not uh, the best on it, but overall, very nicely done. Skits here. Turning radius is on point four. One of these and the link to all of the mods will be down below in the description and this was a very highly requested mod to do a review on so up next we'll be taking a look at the wheeled version and we'll also be taking a look at the bucket so this wheeled version does rock back and forth just a little bit as you guys can see when you do pull forward other than that very nicely done and a few updates might be to kind of uh, speed up the arms and uh, create a higher reach but as you guys can see very nicely done on the bucket and when you kind of tilt the bucket it does not have the best tilting but overall very nice Nicely done on the skids here. Up next, we'll be taking a look at the Volvo Rock Truck. Very nicely done. It's the Volvo A40 GFS. It looks awesome. There's many different wheel options, and you could get the back door option, which is pretty cool. These uh mud flaps doom around, which is pretty cool. You do have a pretty realistic chain around back. It does have a beacon light, which you could remove with the numpad period. Does have lights and turn signals. So once you hop on the inside, and once you do turn it on, it does have a lot of beacon lights up front and down back which is pretty cool when you do have those does have turn signals it does have a reverse lights which is pretty cool and lights all the way around and this is a very detailed truck now one thing is when you kind of hop out and you want to kind of go on the inside you could also open up the door that is also very realistic a lot of detail was put into the model and to the entire thing which is pretty cool so as you guys can see there's many different options when you uh, do unload it two very large hydraulics and then the chain keeps the back door in place which is is pretty cool we'll be using this on the mining company which is nice now on the inside view you guys can see it does have IC which is pretty cool now this over here will kind of uh, open the hood which is also a very cool feature if you wanted to repair it looks like there's working fans on it which is awesome and the engine does shake which is very realistic so this truck is definitely a very nice one and, I, and I'm excited to have it in farming simulator but the cab looks pretty cool working steering wheel and overall everything on the inside looks nice so once you hop on the outside and we'll be taking this four spin it has a top speed of 35 miles per hour now you guys can see it looks pretty nice pivoting and it also does have a working drive shaft which is pretty cool and this is one very very large truck to drive on the streets but like we're saying I do have the water wheels on it which also make it look pretty cool and the turning radius is very good for a very large truck like this if you do have any cool mods you guys would like me to feature in some reviews, let me know down below in the comments. I really do like giving you guys weekly mod reviews because this is a pretty cool series showcasing all of the mod creators awesome work. So next up, we'll be taking a look at this man logging truck. This is one very nicely done truck. It does come with the logging crane, spare tire, and chains on the wheels. This is one of the first vehicles I've seen with chains. It does have wheel trucks, everything like that. Around back, you guys can see it does have pretty realistic controls. It does not have have a hitch but a lot of different types of lights everything like that and when you kind of walk up to it and go on the inside it does have a lot of working things and it looks like there's stabilizers down there so once you hop on the inside there's many different things you could do so next up you could do chains so it looks like you could take the chains off if you want and you could put them back on which is pretty realistic because you do not want to be driving those if not needed because those will definitely damage the roads looks like there's no left turn signal but the lights do work on it reverse lights work it does have beacon lights to them which is pretty cool and let's kind of take a look at the stabilizer so when you do press X it will kind of fold out the back ones and as you guys can see uh, they will also pretty much kind of a lift up the front the front ones will go down and that lifts it up a lot which is pretty cool now you guys can see there is a guy in the back but on the inside view you guys can see it does have working mirrors working steering wheel and the gauges do light up everything like that and overall very nicely done on the inside view now you could uh, definitely open 
open up the doors if you wanted to and which is a pretty cool feature everything like that and you could also do a lot of different things you could put the window down and a, a few other things like that so on this side the window does go up and down which is also pretty cool and then this side window does also so next on the outside you guys can see the crane does work just how it is it has a top speed of 55 miles per hour pretty realistic truck and over one very nice one so we'll take this for a quick spin and I really do like these awesome logging trucks these are pretty cool and I think we'll be using a few of these on our logging series and when you actually take the stabilizers in you guys can see the guy does disappear which is very realistic up next, we'll be taking a look at a Tatra truck, uh, which does have the logging crane on the back and is a semi-truck, which is pretty cool. And it does go along with this logging trailer, which is color changeable. And this is also color changeable. So you guys can see it does have the stabilizers there in the center. Very nicely done on the wheels, everything like that. Once you hop on the inside, this goes 51 miles per hour, working lights, working turn signals, everything works on this truck, which is pretty cool. When you do press X, it will extend out all the way. Take a look that and then the crane will unfold which is pretty cool there's actually a support for the crane and it pretty much unfolds all the way for us which is nice and then when you do press X it will pretty much do it and then you could also add the farmer on with Z which is pretty cool very realistic and I do like how all of the mods lately are pretty realistic you guys can see it does have a lot of lights in the front and on the inside view same as the in-game one turn signals do show up working mirrors working steering wheel and overall very nicely done it does have a camera view up here in the seat we'll kind of uh, take that player way back up and we'll attach to this trailer I mean take a look at this and it does have a lot of straps all the way around and it also does have auto load so pretty cool truck and trailer and the truck has a top speed of 51 miles per hour so we'll take this for a quick spin now you guys can also see that the back axle of the truck does turn with the front which really does help out for awesome turning radius. Cab overs are very nice and they are awesome for turning which is pretty cool. Up next, we'll be taking a look at the compact New Holland tractor. This is one very nice tractor. It's a New Holland TL.75E. Very nicely done. I do like the wheels, and I do like the little canopy up top, which is pretty cool. We'll definitely be using this in a few landscaping videos, everything like that. So you guys can see it does have uh, working lights in the front. They are not showing up in the back, anything like that. It does not have brake lights, anything like that. But on the inside view, it does have working steering wheel. And overall, very cool tractor, even though it's compact. We'll be using it in some pretty cool videos. So hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.